वेलकम डियर फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट सेंट्रीफ्यूगेशन द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस चैप्टर इज द स्टूडेंट्स विल अंडरस्टैंड द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ सेंट्रीफ्यूगेशन प्रिंसिपल एंड इट्स एप्लीकेशंस एंड आल्सो दे विल लर्न अबाउट परफोरेटेड बास्केट सेंट्रीफ्यूज नॉन परफोरेटेड बास्केट सेंट्रीफ्यूज सेमी कंटीन्यूअस सेंट्रीफ्यूज एंड सुपर सेंट्रीफ्यूज so centrifugation is an unit operation employed for separating the constituents present in the dispersion with the aid of centrifugal force so centrifugal force provides the driving force for separation it replaces the gravitational forces operating during sedimentation it is particularly useful when separation by ordinary filtration is difficult like separating highly viscous mixtures and colloidal dispersion in which difference in densities is less centrifugation is convenient method of separating either two immiscible liquids or a solid from a liquid equipment used for the process is called as centrifuge the process of centrifugation uh, we will see it now it consists of a container in which a mixture of solid and liquid or two liquids is placed and it is rotated this test tube uh, is placed in this chamber and this chamber is rotated at a very high speed and due to that centrifugal force it acts on the constituents so the mixture is separated into its, its constituent parts by the action of centrifugal forces on the densities a solid or a liquid of higher specific gravity is thrown outward with greater force hence it is retained at the bottom of the container leaving a clear supernatant layer of a pure liquid the speed of centrifuge is given in terms of number of revolutions per minute of the donor rotor so if this is the first test tube shows the whole blood after making it to pass through the centrifuge it gets separated on the basis of the density of the particles and this is the separated uh, liquid let us see the applications it is used for production of bulk products so it is used for separating the crystalline drugs mainly such as aspirin from the mother liquor because of this we get a free flowing product as we as because of centrifugation we can remove the traces of the mother liquor and avoid effervescence the next application is production of biological products most of the proteinaceous drugs and macromolecules they are present as colloidal dispersions in water hence centrifugal methods are used for separating the same insulin is separated from other proteins by precipitation method and then it is finally separated by ultra centrifugation also blood products are separated from blood by centrifugation method nextly it is used for biopharmaceutical analysis of drugs drugs present in blood tissue fluids and urine are normally present in the form of colloidal dispersions centrifugation is used for separating the drugs this method is easy for evaluation of pharmacokinetic parameters and bioequivalence studies also it is used for evaluation of suspension and emulsions it is used for rapid empirical test parameters for the evaluation of suspension and emulsion this process is hastened by inducing stress condition using a centrifuge a stable emulsion should not show any signs of separation even after centrifuging it at uh, around 2000 to 3000 rpm at room temperature and the last application is it is used for determination of molecular weight of solids determination of molecular weight of polymers is not possible by usual methods ultra centrifugation methods are used for determination of molecular weight of serum albumin insulin and methyl cellulose let us see the industrial centrifugation an industrial centrifuge is a machine used for fluid particle separation it is of three types basically so um, the first type is filtration centrifuge those which use perforated baskets 
which perform a filtration type operation. They work like spin dryers. Example include perforated basket centrifuge. Next is sedimentation centrifuge. These are with solid walls vessels where particle sediment towards the wall under the influence of the centrifugal force. Example is tubular ball centrifuge. And the last is the continuous centrifuge. These are where there occurs a continuous operation or very high capacity is required. Let us see the centrifugal effect. The force acting in radial direction is equal to F. Um, it is given as F is equal to mv square by r. The gravitational force is G. It is given in milligrams and centrifugal effect is equal to centrifugal force by gravitational force. But we know V is 2 pi r n. n is the number of rotations. C is equal to F by G. So centrifugal effect will be 2.013 n to n square d. Let us see the first equipment and that is perforated basket centrifuge. It consists of a stainless steel perforated basket which is typically 1 to 2 meters in diameter and it is lined with a filter cloth. The basket rotates at a speed which is typically 25, uh, which is more than 25 rotations per second. So higher speeds tending to stress the basket excessively. The product will enter centrally and it is thrown outward by the centrifugal force and it is held against the filter cloth. The filtrate is forced through the cloth and removed via the liquid outlet. The solid material is retained on the cloth. The cake can be washed if required by spraying water into the centrifuge. So this is the actual perforated basket which is used in industrial level. So they are used to separate the crystalline material from the preparation liquor. Example, it is used in preparation of aspirin and for removing the precipitated proteins from insulin. It can also handle concentrated slurries which might block other filters and give a product with a very low moisture content and this saves energy during dry. So this, uh, this works on the batch operation time. The next is the Sharpil centrifuge. It is a continuous centrifuge and which is used for separating the two immiscible liquid phases. It works on the principle of sedimentation. Centrifugation occurs uh, because of the separation based on difference in densities between the two immiscible liquids. Centrifugation is done in a small bowl. During this, liquid of high density is thrown against wall, while lighter liquid it remains as an inner layer. Two liquids are simultaneously removed using wires. So it consists of a long hollow cylinder, cylindrical bowl of small diameter. It is suspended from flexible spindle at the top. It is rotated on the longitudinal axis. At the bottom, there is a provision provided for feed inlet using pressure. Two outlets are provided at right heights, at different heights, at the top of the ball and modified wires are attached. The mixture continuously enters the super centrifuge through an inlet feed nozzle at the base of the machine into the hollow cylindrical rotor. Rotors have been designed and engineered to um, rotate at 2000 RPM and generate centrifugal force of up to 2000 times the force of gravity. This force separates the two liquids according to their specific gravities into concentric cylindrical layers and the solids are deposited inside the rotating bowl against the rotor wall. The separated liquids are continuously displaced upwards by the incoming mixture and continuously discharged through their respective outlet ports at the top of the rotor. The layer of the accumulated solids built up on the inner diameter of the rotor wall. It is cleaned out batch wise for which the super centrifuge is shut down when it is filled up to the rotating bowl's limiting solids holding capacity and the rotating wall is removed for cleaning. There are however many applications where only the removal of the suspended solids from a single liquid is required. So this was all about the centrifuges used on industrial level. Thank you for watching.